What's up guys, Brushy here. Um, this video is showing you how to search for and find vulner uh, XSS vulnerabilities in certain websites. Uh, obviously not every site is susceptible to XSS attack due to the web, uh, the web administrator being able to uh, put certain, co certain code in place to stop it. So it's, it's pretty much like just get get lucky. First of all, I wanted to like check out anarchyforums.net. It's a great forum. Uh, there is a lot of good tutorials on here, and there's also a lot of great members, and we're a really friendly community. So if you want somewhere to come chill, then come check us out. All right, so basically, I am just going to use what's called Google Docs to find a site. So what we want to do first of all is in URL and forward slash uh, for instance search dot php question mark uh, let's, let's go for that bottom one there like search results dot php and then one second sorry and then question mark search equals Right, we're looking for something similar to this above here. Of course, that isn't it because I've got the question mark after it. Uh, okay, let's try, let's just try this one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add script and alert bracket quotation mark xss quotation mark bracket. Add a semicolon and then end the script tag. And hit enter. There we go, that is vulnerable to XSS attack. Now, what we can do is again just quickly write this out. Alert XSS test text. This is just to show you that you can obviously implement more text than just XSS as you can. Ah, but see that didn't show up then. Let's try that one more time. No, me, I probably did it wrong. I'll check once I upload the video. <laughs> right, so I'm just added, basically adding in more text just to show you guys it's not fake. Test. XSS. Ah, there we go. See, that's as much text as we can enter in that text box. So now hit go. Test XSS. Okay, now what I'm going to try and do is as you can see here, name equals search string, ID search string, class form, and max length is 35. So, as we're only allowed to enter 35 characters in the text box, we can't have that much in there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the text box, inspect element. Oh, by the way, I'm using Firefox because Google Chrome has an XSS filter which means you are n not able to see alerts when tr testing XSS. Right, as you can see here we've got max length equals 35. So I'm going to change that to 200. And right, now, if I'm correct, and this doesn't have any... Uh, one second, sorry. If it doesn't have any code checking the max length, then we should be able to enter a lot more code in here now so xss test by Breshi as, uh, as you can see we can already have more characters in here than what we should now I'm gonna add an image tag image source equals and we'll just do Google for instance because I don't have a image copied right now so end that and now I'm gonna copy this and hit go Ah. Okay, so I think if you hit go, it doesn't work. Let's try that again. Right, max length. There we go, there's max length. Change that to 2000, for instance. And then we can enter that in. And then hit enter. There we go. As you can see, you've got the broken image in the background here. There. That is if I right click, copy image location, and paste it up here in the Google search tab. As you can see, it's google.com. So now what we can do is, again, 
let's ju let's just find a quick image that says like hacked or something. There we go. That'll do. Obviously, the site isn't hacked. It's just XSS, which isn't that like it's really not um, harmful to the server unless it's persistent. I mean, I haven't found any persistent XSS myself, so I can't show you an example of those. But a persistent X uh, a persistent XSS basically means uh, when you execute the command, it will stay there whenever you go to the URL. Like, say, it'll be forward slash user.php and user ID equals 20, then you'll be able to go to that and it will, like, come up with the alert or the XSS that you use. Okay, so let's try let's try this one more time. Let's have a alert by Brushy in here. Oh, I didn't change the max length. And there it is. Right, okay. And in the semicolon, script and then image src equals the hacked image that we found and then hit enter oh okay I see what's going wrong now it's, it's each time we have this up that it's not working so if I just hit go again right now let's right click inspect element change the max length to 3, what 2000 enter in here again there we go, XSS by Breshi and then you have been hacked and again we have it down here so there you go, that's, well it was longer than I expected but that's just showing you how to find basic XSS's uh, if you want to know more about the Google Dorks I'll probably do a video on it next week uh, if you want to know more about XSS just send me a message and I'll let you know and if you if you want to know about like basic hacking or if you want to meet other hackers then come on over to anarchyforums.net the link will be in the description it really is a good forum all right thanks a lot